Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. Four o'clock in the morning, May the 4th be with you. How many times are we going to hear that today, right? Uh, it is uh, Friday morning. It is the fourth day of May. My name is Rich, and uh, it's going to be a warm and humid day today. This weekend coming up probably has more events and festivals outdoors than about any other weekend of the year. It just happens to peak during that first week in May, the first weekend in May. Uh, the news is good. There's been rumors of showers all week as a decaying frontal system enters the state, but it looks like the better rain chances will be in the northern part of the state. I'll update you on our rain chances here locally. We'll lo also look at the beach. We'll look at the rain prospects for the next few days. And by the way, I'm increasingly worried that the drought situation is going to get worse because there's not going to be much rain. And one more thing. Can you stay to the end of the video? I want you to see the, some new numbers that the models are printing. Is there a May heat wave looming? And I'm talking about some really impressive numbers. On the map this morning, all the action is still out to the west of us. We're warm and humid today. High pressure plopped over the Florida panhandle. It's going to feel more like June. And look at the 90s all the way up into, uh, well, gosh, Delaware and uh, New Jersey. We'll be in the upper 80s today, I think, here. And the humidity will be a little higher with uh, mostly sunny skies and a few of those afternoon cumulus clouds. Tonight's low, very mild, 62. Southeasterly winds, 5 to 10 miles per hour today. Here's the map with that decaying front coming into North Alabama tomorrow and the best rain chances up in the northwestern part of the state. And Saturday evening, that would be our best rain chance, but not a good one, 20 to 30 percent at most. Uh, there could be a few stronger storms, maybe severe limits in extreme northwestern Alabama tomorrow. Then on Sunday morning, the front reaches all the way down to the Gulf Coast, and that ushers in somewhat drier air, so mainly dry on Sunday. I've taken the rain chances out, high temperatures in the middle 80s, and I think we're in another very warm situation Monday. Middle 80s look good, generally dry again. And uh, on Tuesday, maybe some spotty showers, we hope. Uh, that would be great. We need the rain. And look at that off the southeastern coast, something tropical, maybe, perhaps. A uh, warm day on uh, for us on uh, Wednesday. It should be dry. So here we go. We got 85 tomorrow. The best chance of sh any showers would be Saturday evening, Saturday night. Dry Sunday, mid-80s. Mid-80s and dry on Monday. And then maybe a couple of spotty showers Tuesday. And then generally dry Wednesday with highs around 84. Beach forecast for the beaches from Gulf Shores to Panama City. I've taken the rain chances out for the weekend. So it's a good beach forecast with high temperatures in the upper 70s to, well, let's say around 80 and then lower 80s on Sunday. Water temperature now at 78. Rain potential for the next seven days not looking good at all in central and south Alabama, unfortunately. And that uh, brings us to our next map. The drought monitor map still showing a stage one drought over much of east and south Alabama in, and even a moderate drought in parts of uh, south central Alabama. So... The rain prospects not looking good. Look at the European. No blue bars on there indicating any showers. Warm days, mild nights, dry, and then turning hot as we get towards the end of the 10-day period. In fact, let's take a look at some model numbers. Look at this. This is the European showing uh, temperatures which will skyrocket by late next week into the 90s, perhaps. It prints 197. I don't buy that. But let's look at the GFS. It also has some very hot numbers starting later on next week. This is 16 days out and into the middle 90s and then keeping us in the 90s. So it looks like a, a May heat wave is looming. Stand by. The pollen outlook is in the moderate range today than uh, medium to high as we go into Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So uh, that situation continues. Hey, that uh, hurricane tour is coming up May 3rd. That's next Thursday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Montgomery Regional Airport. The C-130 aircraft that the uh, Air Force flies into during hurricanes will be out there. And the NOAA high-altitude uh, uh, aircraft uh, that goes into hurricanes or at least into hurricane zones will be out there as well. Open to the public. That's coming up this next Thursday, May 3rd. So if you are an event planner and you've been worried all week about the rain chances, I wouldn't sweat it at all. There'll be no video tomorrow because it's Saturday, but there will be a blog update first thing in the morning, right around dawn, and another blog update on Sunday morning. The weather never takes a day off, and uh, I'll have another video for you on Monday morning. Of course, when you're out and about, your forecasts across the dial whenever you want it on eight radio stations twice an hour. That's the Blue Water family of stations. I hope you have a great weekend, and it's going to be a pretty good forecast, too. Uh, more like June, right? Have a good one. I'll see you later. Rich Thomas Weather.